Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. I hope you guys are all doing great. Today, guys, we are going to be talking about Resident Evil 4 Remake. We got some brand new leaks, a release date uh, prediction or theory, and that's not coming from me. That's coming from a reliable source. Now, this is coming from Nibel on Twitter. He has about 300,000 uh, Twitter followers, and he is pretty famous on there. So, and I heard that he is a pretty reliable source. Everyone's flocking to this, so I do want to give him the benefit of the doubt and this is also coming from a source on fanbyte and uh please take everything with a grain of salt i want to preface that in every video but if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video please drop me a like subscribe if you guys are new and i'm rushing into this video as fast as i can now the report is i'm gonna we're gonna be going through the bullet points summarized by him i'll leave his twitter and the article in the description okay the village scene and a decent portion of the game takes place at night now that's good news that's good news super good super good in my opinion the game will be scarier at night fantastic news there it's scarier and inspired by resident evil 4 betas now there's tons and tons of scrap versions of resident evil 4 there's a scrap version called resident evil 3.5 mind you these are scrap versions of Resident Evil that ended up becoming other games. One of those games ended up becoming Haunting Ground, one of Capcom's underrated games, man. Uh, another game that was scrapped that turned into, well not scrapped, it was turned into another franchise is Devil May Cry. Not a lot of people know that. Um, the next thing is Resident Evil 4, I mean, uh, sorry, side characters have bigger roles. That's great, man. Salazar, uh, Ad Adler, freaking, I'm hoping Hunnigan, and I'm hoping uh, Ashley, everyone, everyone in the game should have bigger roles, that's just fantastic news, fantastic news, I'm also hoping Ada's f character in this game is fleshed out more, uh, I thought her character as Resident Evil 4 was pretty bland, uh, that's just my personal opinion, uh, yeah, but continue on, moving on to Ada, actually, speaking of her, Ada's campaign will be expanded, so it's really good i was talking about literally that right now so her she will be expanded her campaign will be expanded i said that like four three times yeah so i'm gra I'm, I'm grateful that's happening and uh if the rumors are true uh wesker R wesker's voice actor dc douglas came out and leaked his own uh his own reveal so yeah possible early 2022 reveal now let me give you guys my honest thoughts and predictions so according to the leaks uh ada's campaign was cut for a bit and uh i thought that made a little bit of sense because i thought maybe making the game would be the biggest difficult part if that makes sense i thought it is uh i thought it is like campaign could be part of the dlc or something i'm hoping it wasn't bought or something like you had to buy it or something but i thought they could finish it up later and add it to the game alongside mercenaries i thought i thought that was going to be the case but i guess not no um the game is going to be scarier at night a majority of the game does take place during the day uh i mean the gray aesthetic for resident evil 4 which is along that time uh, which is good, you know, it matches that aesthetic. But if the game is going to be set at night now, so much scarier. I'm telling you guys, Resident Evil 4 Remake is going to be a game changer if it's going to be scarier at night. Great news, great news. Uh, 2022 reveal. Ooh, I don't know about that one. I've been thinking about this for a bit now, and I, this is a theory where I'm coming in. Uh, basically, I don't think it's going to be revealed in 2022 maybe late 2022 but i'm feeling a, that capcom has other plans up their sleeves the canceled re outrage game and uh resident evil reverse and then also uh the resident evil village dlc is the last thing that they want to finish uh before the reveal that's something that i just think about i don't think a lot of people are really uh thinking the same thing but let me know what you guys think other than that guys i'm really gonna have to end this video here i hope you guys definitely did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next video let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below peace out just one more thing before i do end off this video shinji mikami the original director for resident evil 4 was asked to come back and help with the resident evil 4 remake but he turned it down because he does own his own gaming studio and he had to run it uh at tango game game works sorry they're responsible for the evil within or not the evil yeah the evil within one and two and uh also the leaked concept art of albert wesker is actually from a scrapped 
RE project and it's not from this Resident Evil 4 remake that everyone thinks it is. Apparently that's what the leaks suggest also and this is coming from his Twitter but I'm just trying to summarize it as quickly as possible. But yeah, just wanted to put that out there before I did miss anything. But other than that, hope you guys have a great night and have a great one.